scary type fuck. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to another Pokemon Days. We've got uh, Machamp out there, Lefty's Machamp. There's a Life Orb Excelgor, a Life Orb Nidoqueen, a Dragon Dancing Haxorus, which could be pretty cool, uh, kind of weird Lunatone, and uh, Bulky Quillfish. So we're going to go ahead and just get the Dynamic Punch on this thing, I guess. Draining Kiss doesn't do that much damage, it'll be a 4 hit KO. But now he's confused, and uh, I feel the need to switch into probably Quillfish to get some hazards up. Uh, Nidoqueen does have the Stealth Rock, but she doesn't have a Poison move, so Quillfish, go do the thing. And then if an Electric move comes, I have Nidoqueen as a backup to support my little Quillfish. So, spikes, spikes everywhere. And he's intimidated as well, but that doesn't really matter, I guess. And, um, I don't even know what that thing is. I think it's a fairy type, but I'm not sure. Kling Kling's probably going to have, uh, something nasty up his sleeve. I'm too slow for the taunt. He gets behind the substitute, which fucking sucks. I'm going to go for Waterfall here just to break the sub. And he gives me a good wild charge, which fucking takes my Quillfish down over 50. 50% it's gonna kill this turn so I'm gonna switch into Nidoqueen because Nidoqueen's the boss bitch and immune to wild charge so that's great even a steel type move isn't gonna do that much uh, I'm gonna go for the earth power he probably won't stay in but if he does it'll get sacked for sure I really want to lure in a, a flying type switch so I can kind of clear a little space for my Machamp and there's the Scyther uh, I should have put up the Stealth Rocks, probably. I'm gonna do that now, and uh, I don't think I have anything with Whirlwind, but at least he's stuck now. So we'll send in the Quillfish, get the Intimidate on, and a Resisted Bug Bite, but that seems it's gonna be able, that's all that Quillfish is gonna be able to do for this fight. Oh well, I don't think this is going super well, I can't send him a champ, maybe Lunatone. I don't know if it's resistant or neutral. I know it has a psychic... Yeah, super effective. God damn it! God damn it! A ground psychic like Claydol would be resistant to it. I know that much, but a uh, rock psychic is not. <laughs> so I'll go for the ice beam now while he goes for another fucking sword stance. Jesus Christ. This fucking scyther is gonna rape my face! So uh, he roosts, and he's got fucking one and a half sword stances. And I'm just going to keep hitting the Ice Beam, hope for some Freeze Hacks, because I'm really at a loss. I'm fearing the Aerial Ace on my Excel Gore and Machamp, and uh, I'm trying to save Haxorus as like a Sweeper, but uh, I guess Scyther's going to be the only Sweeper in this battle. This shit's fucking crazy. I go for Hidden Power Rock, finish off the Scyther with Excel Gore, because that bitch is super fast! And, uh, he's probably gonna switch into the Kling Clang again. But that'll be fine. I have a plan! I do indeed. So he takes damage from hazards. I'm gonna go ahead and yawn this fucking thing. Because, uh... I want my champ to get in there, but I know he's gonna probably try and set up. Yeah, there he goes. So, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna go to sleep and have your one setup move? Probably he will. Yep. So my champ's in here, and now his Kling Clang's asleep, so I'm gonna get at least one fucking good hit in here. Get two pokes down instead of just one, because just one is fucking sad! He brings in the normal type Fur Fru, and uh, that shit gets obliterated. I'm gonna go for a dynamic punch again, but he gets through Confuse Hacks and fucking rapes my champ in the face. I miss you! Alright, Excelgor's in here. He can get the the revenge kill for sure. Great revenge killer. Fastest bug ever. And, uh... He'll probably bring in the Kling Clang again, no? No, Slurpuff. Okay. Fairy-type fuck. And it eats a Citrus Berry. Wonderful. I don't know what Bug Buzz is gonna do. We'll go for it. He flamethrowers me. How is he faster? Jesus Christ! Oh well, I died a life orb. It's fucking over. Haxorus has got to get out here. 
dragon dance some shit up. I don't know. God damn. Draining kiss hurt. Ugh. This is terrible. We'll go for the poison jab. But he switches into the cling clang. I guess he's scouting for it. But the cling clang is asleep. So I'm gonna set up in this thing's fucking face. I think I can survive a shot from him. A gear grind. I think. So, yeah, one more. Why not? We'll be greedy. Make sure. <laughs> Haxorus has got to take down four pokes. Two, I don't even know what they fucking are. Okay, so there's the earthquake. Get the fuck cling clang out of here. And he's probably going to bring in that fairy shit next. The slurp puff. Oh, no, it's a crowd on. Okay. That's fine. Take some stealth rocks damage. I'm going to go for earthquake again. Because if I lock myself into Outrage, he'll probably switch into the Fairy and rape my face. And Earthquake fucking sacks that Crawdon pretty good. Here comes that Fairy that I was so scared of earlier. Ha ha ha! Poison Jab. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking do it! Ah! <laughs> so here comes Basculin. Outrage! Oh my god. Fuck yes. Dude. What an epic Pokemon Day battle! I do hope you've enjoyed, friends. And if you have, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.